Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included in our still tiny colony. So, what's happened since last time? As you can see, I explored the map a bit further. Uh, over here we have the uh, ice biome that we will, at least at the start, use to cool things. Uh, we have quite a large area uh, where we have still moderate temperatures. Uh, we have run out of water here, uh, more water here on this side. And we do have oxygen production here on this side, uh, where for the moment we are using this body of water, but eventually can switch to this one. But there we have to cool the oxygen first um, before we can pump it into the base. We also have a container here for our polluted water. And up here I have uh, discovered a, a neural serializer um, which gave us, I think, diver's lung very handy uh, and up here we have some some timber reeds uh, which we can use for paintings because we also have an artist so uh, we managed to make that into a great hall and i think that's all of it we made good progress with uh, research uh, probably there is not too much uh, left to be done. Uh, let's actually check. Uh, we still have a few uh, researches that we can uh, can do, but uh, by the looks of it, I would say we are more than uh, than halfway through all the researches. And once we have that, we can focus on the next thing so i think one aspect that we want to focus on here is getting this ready um and then maybe also getting away uh, over in this area i don't think anything is hiding under the ice it's just a big blob of ice that we can uh, use to cool things and uh, I think today's farm will be Pacus and uh, let's have the temperature overlay I think um, here we are getting warmer which means that there this corner will probably be not our base so we can have uh, our tank for pacus in this area and when looking at uh, at the pacus there they are there are three variants um, and the difference is mainly the, the living range uh, the normal one is minus 20 to 80. Um, then they eat seeds. This one is 10 to 100, so a bit higher. And then we have the gulp fish, which is minus 50 to 25 so rather on the low end of um, of this uh, of this this uh, temperature range um, i mean minus 50 that would not work with uh, this polluted water i think that freezes at around uh, 20 ish but maybe they don't necessarily need to be in 
water or contaminated water. Um, Does it say somewhere here? It only says here for the Paku, but not for the auto variants. Okay, uh, I think we will we will figure that out. Um, as as we go along and we can queue up more research here on the top everything researched out so let's do that and that should occupy us for a while i have started to go a bit more into a more bristleberry heavy uh, diet because uh, it gets more calories out of a plant unfortunately they do need water and we had to hook up the uh, third uh, water container over on this side uh, and down here you can see I have started to lay out uh, the uh, setup for our power production down here uh, we have an ore crusher to get a bit of uh, of copper because we need that on one side here for the proper wiring so we can run all the machines but then also here for the cooling and uh, we are almost there that we can get down there and pump water out hopefully uh, this loop with uh, uh, three turns is enough to cool down the water to sufficient temperatures um, and then we can start uh, replacing the farm tiles with uh, hydrophonic farm tiles which will alleviate the work the duplicants have to do and um, give them more time to do other things because that's currently a problem we only have four duplicants but i think with our food situation we can afford one more up here you can also see we have some paintings uh, and that also helps with morale so uh, we can uh, upgrade our duplicants a bit uh, with one or two more skill traits um, and then up here we are making progress on the uh, Paku tank. Uh, we need to sort this bottom bit up. We do have one Paku in here. I think we have an egg there. And we will also break this water up here loose. And uh, that should be good. Uh, we have to make sure that the, the polluted water does not uh, uh, evaporate into uh, uh, polluted oxygen and the water level drips and we basically can do that by capping the, the, the sink off. However, we will need to figure out how to uh, do the, the feeding. That's always something that I have uh, struggled with, but one step at a time. The tank is ready and uh, we now need to let in more water. So we will drain this from up here, but then maybe we also need uh, this water from top there and the way I think we will work this is by having the top here capped off um, not this one though um, we need to make room there 
here. We will have this door that way. And then we can have Peter Gear, which means we have to ensure that uh, the uh, water level is is up to up to that and that probably means getting all the water that we have <coughs> around here so let's make a ladder up to there and then do a bit of Diagonal digging. Make it three high. And that's that. And then we will see how we, how far we can fill up this tank with uh, this two, or if we. By the looks of it, we are already close to a uh, space up here, so that's good. And I think that's that's almost everything. Still waiting for a good duplicate uh, to uh, complement our small crew that we have here, and here we can. Um, say what we want to feed them so I think we can do this and this and let's leave it at that for the for the moment and once water water level reaches up here the fish should be able to uh, and then let's have a look any good uh, doctoring decorating operating operating uh, I'm looking for word but actually combination operating and uh, supplying so I think we will go with the cake so far we did not have any luck with any good duplicates and we are running out of uh, dirt. We only produce a bit here with our composts. So that's why I think we will move more of these farming plots over to uh, bristle blossoms. And down here we have a few pipsqueaks. Uh, and they planted us some uh, dust caps and a wheeze wart that we got out of the printer. And uh, on the topic of our uh, fish farm, looking quite good. Um, we have quite a few eggs down here. So I expect uh, this tank to become crowded pretty soon and I think at one point we also had a tropical fish in there so if we look at uh, one of the fish um, they have only 2% chance of producing a tropical uh, or a gulp egg but that that will do for uh, for fish farm and as you can see the feeding does work um, we will have to work on that some more or uh, actually we will see how this this progresses because farm wise we get quite a few of, of eggs out of it it's probably not the best farm for uh, uh, fish meat um, but we will see if uh, we actually need that 
and next time we will have to uh, see about another ranch i am thinking uh, draco ranch uh, would be good we also want to have a, a pipsqueak ranch for uh, for more dirt but for that we need arbor trees and those are hard to come by then of course we can also ranch the, the puffs and uh, we did have uh, a shine nymph at one point uh, so that would also be an option that we can go but i think until next time we need to finish up here replacing the wire so we can hook up all the machinery uh, pull the wire down here so we can uh, add this one because then we can have the water going through the cooling loop and into our farm because over here we are already running low again but that will do for this episode hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time for our Draco farm. Until then, goodbye.